Hello everyone and welcome to my channel on ADHD, mental stuff and self-development and all things related. My name is Peter. Today I'm not really at home. I'm recording outside of the city and wanted to talk to you about the combination of symptoms in ADHD that would be impulsivity, anxiety and the lack of executive control. This has actually inspired me to do the video because I normally never do something like that. It's about 6.30 a.m. and I've driven out of the city to the fields and forests and uh, I'm just taking a walk right now. I never really did that before I discovered the diagnosis and uh, that's really harmful because when impulsivity can actually present itself as a good thing, it interacts with other symptoms that can basically destroy all ability of impulsivity to do something good for you and only leave it with what leads you to do terrible decisions. So what I mean by that? First, you will get an impulsive thought to go out, right? It's 6 a.m. You wake up and the first thing you want to do is take a nice walk in the countryside. I would say that's generally a good idea if you don't have something very important to do at that moment. So why is it so hard to actually hear the call and answer it? The problem is anxiety first. So you will generally be afraid of the future if you have anxiety comorbid with ADHD. And of course that would not be enough because usually with the therapy or just some helpful self-development techniques, you might be able to understand that this will actually lessen your anxiety, because quite clearly this is not terrible, right? It definitely beats just sitting at home in the shade in the morning and just scrolling through your news feed and eating a breakfast when you're not really hungry. So anxiety is not enough. But then comes the lack of executive control, which is really the main problem of ADHD. It should be called lack of executive control disorder and not attention deficit disorder. But anyway, that is the biggest problem because to drive out here and to actually take a walk requires some willpower. And even though you really want to do it and even your impulsivity is nudging you in the direction the lack of executive control is not going to allow you to take immediate action very often. And if you don't take immediate action, the impulsivity will just jump to something else. Like impulsively having a drink in the morning, for example, to make yourself feel better. Instead of just taking a walk in the sun to make yourself feel better. And this combination leads to your impulsivity still being a problem as it relates to your addictions and other harmful stuff like alcohol, video games or any other addiction that you might, you might have. But at the same time it's not going to help you do anything very positive because the anxiety is going to frustrate about it. It's going to present you with all sorts of terrible outcomes that may come while with the <laughs> with the harmful stuff you're probably addicted so you will rationalize them even though you know that they are actually harmful and then the lack of executive control will just seal the deal because you won't be able to take advantage of that impulse and the impulse will just jump to something else that is generally easier so i just wanted to share this thought with you maybe share a little bit of the scenery it's quite nice out here on sunday and um, well i'll see you either tomorrow or in the afternoon if you like the content please like subscribe click the bell and uh, see you later